So here's Buzz. He's coming over here and he's smiling. I think I sold it. <sighs> Looks like we got a deal, Jesse Blue. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, keep in mind, it's one fine piece of machinery. Okay, let go. Just gotta get my checkbook. <laughs> hey, why don't you take it out for a spin first? Don't mind if I do. What do you say? Want to look dangerously slim? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Great. Uh, way out of line at the cemetery the other day. I hope it's your mother's wedding ring. Where'd you get that? And who the hell gave you the right to give it to her? So here you go, as promised. Preliminary witness list. Something wrong? No. We're in your hands, Ross. I thought that you wanted to check out who I may be calling. Ross, you have been my father's best friend for many years. You've always come through for this family big time without anybody looking over your shoulder. And I'm not about to change that formula now. You sure? Ross, I haven't given you nearly the trust you deserve. I am. Um, I've been lashing out at all the people, everybody, you know, that uh, I thought was responsible for Abby being hurt. Even my dearest friends who didn't deserve it. That includes you, and I just hope you can accept my apology. Not needed. I was looking for a scapegoat. You know, and the simple truth is, is that Abby was the wrong place at the wrong time. But now it's time to move forward, Ross. I want to be part of your team. Sounds awfully good to me. Me too. Yes, and I want you to make all the decisions. I mean, after all, I trust you with my son. There's no reason at all I shouldn't trust you with the woman I love. And I won't let you down, either. Now that Ben is out of the picture, we can devote all our energies to Abby's defense. No, Ben. There won't be any comebacks. You're all washed up in this town. I'm only sorry you won't be able to stick around and see Ross win. <laughs> Show you who's the better lawyer. <laughs> you are something, you know that? In fact, you're one of the main reasons I'm going to stay in Springfield. What are you talking about? Why not? It's a pretty town. People are civil. The women are beautiful, unpredictable. It's even a couple of nice restaurants. In fact, isn't there a for sale sign on the house across the street from you? It already has its fill of termites. Hmm. No, Ben, really, there's nothing for you here. Nothing that would interest a big hotshot like you. Oh, you'd be surprised at what interests me, my friend. My nephews, for instance. Maybe I should stick around and watch them grow up. Toss a football with them on crisp autumn afternoons. We could be like the Kennedys, hanging out on Sundays. Everyone sitting down to dinner, the table creaking with home cooking. The adults discussing the week's events. The kiddies laughing gaily as they play. I can see it all now. The Marler clan. What about the solo Warren clan? Sitting in his New York City apartment, Eating up his TV dinners? Hardly. But you know, you look like a gambling woman to me. I'll tell you what, I'll make you bet. If Ross wins, I'll leave Springfield. Forever. But if he doesn't win and I have something to do with it, then you sleep with me. What? Why not? I don't drop good ideas easily. What do you say? I'll take that as a yes. We have a bet. I don't know what you're talking about. First of all, how are you going to be responsible for Ross losing, really? I mean, Abby chose him to represent her. She did not choose you. And then there's nobody in the DA's office who can touch Ross as a lawyer, so the case is in the bag. And I took you for a gambling woman. You gambled with the secret of your uh, son's paternity, but you lost that one, didn't you? I lost you? nothing. I have my twins. So you're not at all sure your husband can pull this off, are you? Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. So take the bet and prove it's ridiculous. Ross is going to win this thing in a walk. 
You have no doubts. You can tell me. Well, I keep telling you. Well, then take the bet. I mean, you act like you're talking big and all, but you're not backing it up with anything. Oh, it's going to feel so sweet to beat you. Okay. The bet's on. So we have a deal. Deal. Ridiculous. Don't think I won't collect when I win. When this case is over, not only will I have you, but you're going to like it. <laughs>